Hi, my name is uh, Samuel Hansen. I'm 34 years old and I live in sunny Malta. I'm an alternative energy research coordinator for Looking for Heat.com. We build uh, lab equipment and we test new energy technologies. In this video, I'm going to present two things. And it's my design for a $20 million uh, Energy 2.0 X price. I will also uh, share my ideas for an unimaginable clean energy adventure. So if that sounds fun, stick around for my pitch. An energy 2.0 technology is a new technology. It's clean, safe, and it'll be abundant. It's an energy technology disruptive enough to create a new industrial revolution. We are setting audacious goals and we're going to be very picky about what can enter into the competition. We need a new engine for growth and we're, not, and we're looking for something that is capable of enhancing the life quality of every person on this planet. Because an energy 2.0 technology is potentially worth trillions of dollars, the main incentive for the competition will be the energy 2.0 platform. It will be a platform that is purpose-built to allow very efficient communication, collaboration and fundraising. There will, however, be a $20 million incentive for the highest scoring team that present the Energy 2.0 technology. But remember, at that stage, when we are prepared to fork out the $20 million, the company or the project in question could already be valued into the billions of dollars. So I would like to offer side prices as well, if possible, for technologies that shows great potential to revolutionize individual sectors. An empty gravity engine that doesn't produce electricity, heating or cooling uh, might not be able to power our house at all, but it might revolutionize the aerospace industry. Um, a technology that produces some kind of exotic particles might be too dangerous to put in our houses, but we might be able to use it in hospitals to treat cancer very efficiently. <clears throat> I would like also to set us up for failure, because it is quite probable that we will fail. And the next best thing, if we are not able to validate an Energy 2.0 technology, uh, we need to educate the public the best way of doing so is to create an out-of-this-world narrative. And here is where the un 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 unpronounceable uh, clean energy adventure comes in. We, we're going to choose one or several likable person to represent the competition, and they will be the heroes. For these people being selected, uh, it's going to be like winning the grand lottery. They will be the Cinderella's of this new free energy movement that we're going to build. They're going to be put on a pedestal and they will be given every and any advantage. Their job will be to travel around the world to educate and entertain. So even if we fail, as long as we have educated the public by entertaining them, chances are that someone further down the line is going to pick up where we left off and succeed where we failed. If the narrative in itself is amazing, let's say we partner with uh, Walt Disney and we really slam dunk it, the, the, the narrative in itself could be profitable. And I think the Hero, Hero X and X Prize are concepts that want to continuously progress. And although very risky to have these heroes, I think is one of the way it can progress. So uh, the price purse justification, when it comes to comparing technologies that produce AC, DC heat, cooling, exotic particles, etc. I don't think it is possible to compare them against each other with the one fits all solution on equal terms. It just cannot happen. So that is why we have the point system. The team scoring the highest points uh, from the jury receives the $20 million and points are given for various aspects of the competing technology and the team behind it. We're going to be looking at showmanship, we're going to be looking at uh, energy infrastructure needed, how safe and secure is the solution, what will be the time to market, 
what's the environmental impact, the cost, and so on. So with this uh, point system, a garage researcher will be able to compete with the company already having millions in their pocket. A one-man army can go up against GE. Uh, we're also going to attract those teams that already have reached far in their development. We're going to allow anonymous teams and even black box projects to enter the, uh, the competition. The competition point system will however favor those who work simplistic and those who work uh, open. The teams themselves will be paying for their own measurements and their tests. Eventually, over time, as the competition progresses, the top teams are able to visit the X-Lab in America or they can have uh, reps from the X-Lab visit them. And uh, working it out this way will create amazing opportunities for students and universities to get involved locally. There will also be an army of uh, theoretical armchair critics. Their job uh, will be to analyze the test protocols suggest improvements and, uh, and then this will be a continuous feedback loop to improve uh, the measurements and the test until we're getting uh, to a point where we feel we're ready to pay out the 20 million dollars. This uh, contest, I would like to see it announced in 2017 and we can launch the, the platform for fundraising in 2018. Uh, throughout the competition, uh, new companies will be able to, to register. Uh, the, but the first uh, chance to claim the EPD, which is uh, the Epic Planetary Domination or uh, the $20 million, that's going to be 1st of January uh, 2020. And uh, the competition as a whole will stay out, uh, open until 2024. So that's my pitch for the Energy 2.0 XPRIZE and the unimaginable clean energy adventure. So yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know and um, let's do this.